Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coolum video and another plug side chat. So the California Air Resource Board recently released a report. It's making the news. It's because California met their 2020 greenhouse gas emission goals two years early. Most of the improvements in greenhouse gas emissions were on the back of renewable energy. In most areas, our greenhouse gas emissions have either decreased or remained stable or steady. But the troubling trend is with automobiles and personal transportation, which those numbers have actually increased again in recent years. Now, the assumption is it's because uh, people are driving more than they ever have in large vehicles, large SUVs, large trucks, and a lot of that is due to lower fuel costs and, you know, people think that like an improving economy, people have more money to spend on, on things like fuel or, or consumer goods. So those, those types of uh, usages are actually increasing the amount of greenhouse gas emissions that are being produced by the, the personal transportation um, industry and cars and trucks in particular. Vehicle transportation is actually producing almost double the amount of greenhouse gas emissions as the power grid in California is at this point, which that is a troubling trend because it means that to actually continue to meet future goals of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, there's really only one area where it can come from, and that's the transportation industry. And I'm putting a link to an article from the LA Times below. I'm including their article mostly because they, they have some interesting graphics that provide easy to digest visual interpretations of the data. They mention in the article a little bit about electric vehicle adoption. They do point out that it's maybe the slow transition to electric vehicles. That's part of the reason why the transportation sector continues to increase its greenhouse gas emissions. But one thing that they didn't really talk about, and I think it's important to call out, is it's proof positive of just how important a transition to electric vehicles is. We hear this a lot in the electric vehicle community that, oh, transitioning to electric vehicles doesn't really make that much of a difference. Well, no, it actually does. And so, you know, despite California's improvements in the power grid, it's still not necessarily the cleanest power grid in terms of renewable energy. Uh, typically, that's like the northwestern states that have so much energy coming from hydroelectric. But regardless, the point is, when the grid is that clean, transitioning to electric vehicles makes even more sense. And it's even more important. So I believe it was something like 118 million metric tons a year of greenhouse gas emissions are coming from basically personal use vehicles. That's 118 million metric tons of greenhouse gases that don't ever have to enter the atmosphere. I mean, even if you say, okay, well, that's going to increase a load on the grid. Well, the grid is continuing to improve in its greenhouse gas emission rates. And as it continues to decline, even if it requires increasing capacity, that 118 million metric tons of greenhouse gases that's coming from those personal transportation vehicles, you could easily cut that in half uh, in the next five to 10 years. You could, you could cut those numbers down to the point that you know, they're negligible. And if you say, okay, but there is going to be that counter increase to the grid. Well, if the grid is also improving, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. We're talking about California's ability to basically reduce their greenhouse gas emissions by another 20 to 25% just with the transportation industry alone. So that's a, that's a big deal. But like I said, to me, perspective as an electric vehicle owner, as an electric vehicle advocate, uh, it's proof positive that no, a transition to electric vehicles will make a huge difference. 
since right now, California vehicle transportation, it's the largest producer of greenhouse gas emissions. Given what we're seeing with our recent climate change, uh, given what we're seeing with the global warming, this is a very urgent matter that needs to be addressed as quickly as possible. And based on this evidence, it looks like electric vehicles are the fastest way to make the biggest change and biggest impact in our greenhouse gas production. We're coming off our 402nd month in a row where global temperatures are above average. We haven't seen global temperatures on an annual basis be below average since 1986. And things are getting worse every day. So if we really do want to look at what is the fastest way to turn around our greenhouse gas emissions, to turn around climate change, to slow it, to do whatever we need to do to just stabilize the temperatures on a global scale, it really does look like the primary focuses need to be renewable energy for the grid and a transition to zero emission vehicles. And, you know, on a side note, because one of the things that they say is driving uh, this increase in fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emissions is people are wanting to drive bigger, nicer, larger luxury vehicles. That's an area where you don't need an internal combustion engine vehicle, or if you do, it only needs to be there as a backup. Uh, these range extended electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, they're perfect for these larger SUV usages, right? Where maybe you're only driving 40 to 50 miles a day in, in a huge, you know, three ton SUV, but you have that gasoline backup if you do need it. But that's, that's a big difference in the amount of fuel that we would be consuming just by transitioning these over to plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. So we don't necessarily need to do a full transition to 100% battery electric vehicles right away. Transitioning in the meantime to plug-in hybrid electric vehicles would have just as great of an impact. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Uh, you know, what other ways we can maybe reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, improve renewable energy, uh, and improve the adoption and proliferation of you know, electric vehicles, or at the very least, electrified vehicles. As always, thank you for watching.